welcome once again to my YouTube channel, The Oasis. And uh, today I have my friend with me, Damilola. And uh, good to be here. <laughs> we've been friends for over a decade now, and yeah. um, he's here today to share some of um, his experiences. And we've just returned actually from church. Yeah, we just got back from church. And um, we're trying to keep some very good memory and mm. share some things with yeah. you. Yeah. Think it's really, we thought about it, and it's been very great to share some of the things with you. Yeah. So, um, meet Damilola Odulu. Hello, everyone. My name is Damilola Odulu, and uh, yeah, it's great to be here. And you know to visit my friend as well, yeah. and then we decided to just do this little video, you know. So yeah, yeah. we're here. So Demi, um, it's been a couple of days since um you've been here in the UK, and um, yeah, not it's been weeks, days. weeks, not two days. Weeks, okay, two weeks. weeks, weeks, and then but then some days with you, with me, yeah, yeah some days with me. So um, I just want to ask you, how's been your experience in the UK? Yeah, it's been so great. It's been great. Um, I like it here. You know, it's it's amazing, and um, you know, I think everything works. You know, but then pretty much very cool environment and quite different so yeah it's great it's been it's great been it's been a great experience yeah. so far yeah. so uh we had a um, couple of um experiences prior to your coming to the uk yeah. and um we had some discussion around um faith around um and your personal mm -hmm. experiences with god and um do you want to say one or two things about um what's what it means what the christian faith looks like yeah um sometimes you know you might be trusting god for something and you know it may be anything at, at all, anything at all. Um, in my own case, I had multiple things I was, you know, trusting God for. Okay. And it was crazy because I, at a point I thought that, I, I was thinking, would, could it be, could it just be that, you know, one thing could go wrong and, you know. So yeah, I had a lot of things in my head, like uncertainties and all of that. But then I decided that, you know what, I'm going to trust God for this and... Yeah, I haven't gotten everything yet, but then I'm still trusting God. But then I just enjoyed that phase of getting closer to God, fellowshipping, and all of that. So yeah, it's it's it's, an, it's been an amazing experience actually. Well, at that point of uncertainty, is um, were you questioning if possibly your faith qualifies as faith in Christianity, no. or you're thinking there are some things that was just hindering the process of you getting response from God? No, no, I I don't think there is. I questioned the. The faith I have, because my faith has never been, um, uh, I, I has never been shaken. Like, I, the faith I have is very strong, and I believe in God because I've experienced, I have so many experiences, you know, in the past, okay. and yeah. So, but then, whatever happened to me at that point was in peculiar to me. So it it was it was a it was a normal thing, right? But then, because you are a child of God, right? The things that happen to people that you feel like is normal might be changed, you know, in your own case. So that was what I was trusting God for. Like, fine, this is normal, yeah. But then I want to be singled out. So what you're saying is, you that what is normal to one person is not normal to another. Yeah, everybody have their own normal. Exactly. Oh, it might wow. be it might be normal in the uh, in the physical. Okay. But some things are just can't be different Extra mundane. exactly can be different for you as a child of god okay. you know in the spiritual realm okay. so people can be people can be experiencing the same things right but you as a child of god can actually you know experience a different thing because of the level you are you know with god so we're all on different levels with god absolutely depending on our relationship with him. absolutely so um in that light um i, I want to ask um can you give us like a typical scenario, like um, an insight into your encounter with God? Yeah. What uh, was your encounter like? Yeah. So my encounter with God, uh, there are so many things. So like so many things, you know, have happened to me that I just yeah, this ha this has to be God, okay. right? Um, there's some. I don't know if I. I don't know. I really can't remember any, but I feel like everything that has happened to me, okay, can be connected to it, right? My career um when i felt like oh yeah i'm not sure god will speak to me even when it is not going well yeah. right something happened to me many years ago uh that i got cheated you know at the place i was working okay. and it was it was glaring that you know uh, uh, uh i was being cheated and a document was actually uh doctored right oh. and i saw it and I wanted to tell them, that's the, the, the HR director at the time, that this is actually Dr. C. So 
it was in a meeting and then it made it look like oh i was a bad person for saying for speaking and saying oh this is not it but they now doctored a, a document and you know saying that oh i was actually wrong you know so I, I, I looked like a bad person just to prove you wrong just to prove me wrong but at that point you know any other person might have said oh this is wrong this is this is this is wrong this and is you fight for yourself yeah any other person would have said it would have just said you know because you feel like okay yeah, this is wrong and then it shouldn't be like that okay but god told me at that moment dami don't speak keep quiet keep quiet let him take control let me let me handle oh, this wow interesting you know <laughs> to somebody let out there this. sometimes when you think like him you need to fight for yourself mm. you should just let yeah go. just just leave the battle to god so what happened afterwards what happened afterwards you know uh, um although right now is not it wasn't so later on it wasn't even a case of oh um maybe they got to discover that i was doctored god said just leave it that way but then you know what god took me higher and higher and then even those that did it when they look back tomorrow or today they'll they'll regret doing ever doing that because i've even gone beyond their expectations wow you understand so yeah I, I, i'm thankful for where god has you know taken me to and the fact that i was obedient to god's instruction mm-hmm. at that moment to actually shut up don't speak mm-hmm. i have this I, I, i'm handling this don't fight this you know this is the battle i'm fighting for. i'm going to fight for you so yeah so it was it was it was it was great so what you're saying is best that god fights about exactly us. sometimes you might feel like oh yeah i'm cheated i'm this you know and then you just calm down pray and let god take control really. but there's this idea that um some people try to fight for god do mm. you think that is right it is not right to fight for <laughs> god I, I you know i i, I laugh when people are fighting for god and then saying oh why would you i don't know some people call it blasphemy okay right and you say oh because you are you're you're abusing their god their god and everything I, I don't think that's right because god our own god is um is the creator of heaven and earth mm-hmm. right he created us is the creator of the universe he is everywhere he can kill he can spare how can me a tiny you know part of like I'm, I'm god's creation right god created me yeah i am nothing compared to god do you understand so we should be the one asking god for help no. god does not need our help at all so why should you fight for god hmm. when he can fight for himself interesting so if you're out there you think someone has said anything against your god you shouldn't fight for god god it doesn't happen it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense so he's he should, he should be the one fighting your battle ah well in this life but um that there, there are also, so i want to dive digress a little bit into yeah. something more spiritual mm. and i hope you are mm-hmm. really very glad to listen to this aspect of it it's quite groundbreaking and um it's about fasting mm. something happened you, you, yeah. you're my friend you've yeah. been my friend for but over a decade yeah yeah you've been a wife we've lived together and we never talked about fasting mm. we never fasted together but a scenario called for it mm. and yeah it was inspired and we decided to fast as a family and um of course it's expect that there will be a time for breaking mm-hmm. right yeah uh, my family and my wife we did break we had, mm. uh, we had we had and come evening i called my friend dami how far is he going and do you know what the guy was still fasting and i was shocked i was like I still he said he's doing 24 hours that he was led to do it mm. and i was like blown off so how did he come <laughs> to that so point? the so the thing is it, it's quite it's quite uh amazing because when you are you know when you when you are into this like fasting and then praying to god mm-hmm. trusting god for something you need to be attentive as well okay you need to be attentive because at that point so even though you are asking god for something also listen to what god is saying because there's a communication in in, in that line yeah as you communicate to god god will also communicate to you now while i was fasting i received that communication that you know what 
do what you've never done before. Oh, you know, and I, I just, it just came to me like, yeah, I'm fasting right now. I've, I've fasted in the past, you know, even from childhood, I would fast and all of that. But God said, do what you've never done before and see me work and take charge and take charge like never before. Hmm you know like let me i'm gonna do something extraordinary for you so do something extraordinary as well that's the thing about and it's a, it's a very good thing about you know sowing seed mm. it's a, it's you can sow seed with you know in many ways so it was just for me that for me was me sowing the seed so i fasted i was supposed to break um around six okay but then i decided that you know what i'm gonna stretch this okay you know? so i fasted i made sure i fasted for 24 hours and once i break my fast around like late night I made sure that I wouldn't eat until that same time the next day. So that's okay. 24 that's hours. So around the clock. Exactly. So 24 hours fasting, I did that. And guess what? During that time, I also received the communication for God, from God, you know, a revelation to fast in a particular day. On a particular day yes. in the week. In the week. Guess what? For the rest of my life. For the rest of your life? Yes. How? somebody out there the rest <laughs> of my life. challenging you a particular day where, where either we're having a fast at in church or anything it or doesn't maybe, have to be uh, maybe with religion. no it doesn't have to be associated with any program we're having in church or a group fasting we're having in church this is personal and i have to do it wait, 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 wait. <laughs> tell me something what 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 exactly what's the experience like what has changed well what's different i don't know i think that period my communication with God, my fellowship with God, yeah. you know, took a higher, you know, it took a, it took a different dimension. Okay. And it went higher, it went to the higher level, right? And I think I, I love the experience, right? It's something I would like to do again and again and again, right? And yeah, I, I, it was it was an amazing experience, actually. You, you know, there's something that is um, just coming to my mind now and yeah. I was just wondering, sometimes when we get calls like that or mm. backings like that with god or get communication like yeah. that or insight like that mm. with god some things change also in the world yeah yeah you may it may be your cycle of friends yeah oh yeah um some people find it very difficult to say to their friend that oh um god told me this i have to start fasting of course you know yeah. fasting is the night yeah you have to be withdrawn for some things exactly some kind yeah. Of yeah have has there been any challenge in doing no 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 that there, there hasn't um I haven't really had any challenge okay. uh, you know, about that because I, I select my friends carefully. Okay. And even though I have a lot of friends, I have some friends that, you know, there's a certain level I go with them. Okay. Right? Okay. So it's it's never been a struggle for me mm. to communicate, uh, uh, um, you know, maybe what, what I am, uh, maybe a revelation that I got, you know, with a friend or something. And I always encourage my friends to also you know, fellowship with God. So okay. those are the kind of friends I, I surround myself with, you know, sharing the word with them, uh, um, you know, them also, you know, sharing some passages and all of that. So those are the kind of friends I surround myself with. Um, also, uh, I deliberately will be doing some things, okay. you know, from now on. And this is because of the experience from, from that phase right and i think it's 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 going to be a gradual process and i'm going to get there you know eventually but you can never you know be you can never be too deep with god so each day every time you have to keep Moving going further. it's a journey that has no ex end exactly even to exactly that, exactly exactly to you, you have to you have to just keep going oh interesting i hope you have been enjoying this session with us and um if you've got any question at this point in time, please do well to drop in the comment section. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, if this is your first time watching a video on this channel, please subscribe. And um, Mr. Dami, yeah, that I call you Mr. <laughs> because at this point, yeah, if you so honorable, mm. so feel respectful, and I've, I've yeah. got a lot, a lot of things to learn from you at this mm. point in time. And I want to ask you, for people out there who feels like home. Oh, this faith thing is not working. Oh, I've asked God and I've been waiting for so long. Mm. What do you have to tell them? Hmm. There's a Bible, uh, there's a scripture that says, you know, weeping comes, weeping, weeping may endure for the, for the night, but joy comes in the comes morning. In the morning. You, you know, you, you have to, 
understand that God, 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 God has your back. Mm. Even though you are going through that phase, it is not permanent, right? You go through that phase, you know, God, God, God will see you through. You know, it's not, it's not a permanent uh, situation, okay. right? So, for everyone out there, try as much as possible to be close to God. Okay. You know, um, try not to do things that would hinder open heavens over you, right? Try to pray fast get closer to god you know i'm not saying go to church all the time but then mm-hmm. try to make sure that your spiritual life is in, in is, is is intact right and yeah going to church is part of it because when you go to church you you know that that kind of you know holds you down and draws you closer to you know to, the, to god and his word and all of that so you don't you know uh, you know digress or derail or you know whatever word you yeah <laughs> Yeah, so, so, yeah. All right, at, um, at least, yeah. That's that's what comes to mind right now. But then, yeah, there are going to be other things. But you know, at least for now, that's it. If you're still watching this video up to this very minute, um, you've really done us a great benefit, and we oh, we strongly hope that you have learned one or two things. So please don't fight for God, hand it over to mm. God. And of course, this is the very first time we're having this kind of um yeah yeah conversation on my youtube channel oh wow no, very yeah first yeah. <laughs> yeah so you're made in. thank you so much for <laughs> thank you thank you for having we me. hope to do more of this mm. and um we hope to let you know more mm. but of course we need to make this channel grow so mr damia what do you think yeah it, this, is a, this is an amazing channel really and i remember the very first video that went on this channel we made it together yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. he's the secret behind you know? it he's the dummy the place the to the dummy the visit to you know nigeria to meet his wife and all of that yeah, yeah. so yeah it was it was amazing and you know thank you guys for watching that and for more content like that and this type you know you have to subscribe to this channel uh click the subscribe button don't forget to also click the bell so you can get notifications yeah you know when new videos you know come out so you don't want to miss out on that yeah so subscribe and turn on the notification button as well so yeah thank you for joining us today it's been an amazing time having a conversation with you lovely yeah mr dami we <laughs> hope you'll be willing to answer the questions that will be dropping on the comment of box. course of course if you have questions if you're if you've been passing through uh some you know difficulties and all of that you know about the faith and all of that just let us know drop your drop a message in the comment section and also you can reach out to uh oasis uh as well uh and i'll get the questions and absolutely i'm going to respond if you want it privately or public you know which, whichever if you want to uh, and if any requires yeah. us to record a follow-up video, yes we, we will definitely do that we'll definitely do that you know because you know as christians we need to have conversations with our christian brothers and sisters because you know these are our backbone yeah. you know uh, in christ yeah. and yeah it is very important that you know we have uh, people to you know turn to to talk to and you know just share hope and you know be strong in faith she also said that means thank you so much for <laughs> thank you coming thank on you, my show i so appreciate much. you yeah and my people please let me thank him too down there thanks so much guys so i'll um, see you in the next video thank you bye, bye.